What's up peeps, it's Pepster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Mo Creatures mod to Minecraft, and I'll also be showing you in the second part of the video how to reduce the lag in Minecraft and increase the frames per second. So right away the first thing you're going to want to do is create a fresh new Minecraft folder. So you can do that by entering your info first. I've already, I just deleted it, but another way you can do it is by going to options and forcing an update. And you're going to want to remember that password so it goes back in like that. And it'll download all the packages once again because you don't have them. And if you're afraid of losing a save or a texture pack or anything like that, I'll also be showing you how to back that up so you can just drag it back in. So here it's done. It's done loading. So all the files will now be in my Minecraft directory. So on Windows, you can press the Windows button and R at the same time. And it should get a little pop-up. And then you're going to press you're going to type in percentile app data percentile with no spaces just like it is on the screen there on Mac this is the way I do it I type in users in the finder then I go to my user library application support and Minecraft here it is right here you're going to want to keep this open throughout the whole video so if you're afraid of losing your saves or texture packs before you force update you can just grab this save here and copy it to your desktop and then when you're done installing all the mods you can just copy it right back over into this directory same with the texture packs so you're going to want to open bin then minecraft jar if you're on windows you're going to want to open this with winrar or 7-zip or something like that but on mac you can just open it with archive utility which every mac should come with and it will be named just minecraft like that this is just for mac this part here and then you can delete your jar and you can rename this one minecraft dot jar just like that and add it okay now part for the mods the first one is mo creatures and this will be in the description or I'll put a link annotation or something on the screen you can just click it and it'll take you to this page so this is dzark's mo creatures mod and here's all the download instru instructions. So you're going to want to download Mod Loader, Forge, GUI API, Custom Mob Spawner, and Mo Creatures. All right, I downloaded the five files needed to install Mo Creatures for Minecraft. Now, if you're on Mac, you're going to want to open all of these with the archive utility. Actually, all of these, every single one. And if you're on Windows, you're going to open it with the WinZip or 7-Zip. Now that we've got all of these, we're going to install Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, GUI, API, all into the Minecraft jar. Straight into it. But before we do anything, you want to make sure you delete the meta-inf folder. It'll uh, mess up and it'll cause black screens and it's just bad news. So do it. I promise it won't mess, mess you up. And this is for single player. If you're running it off of a server the instructions will be different. So I'm just going to go ahead and open every single one of these, copy all the items of mod loader, drag and drop them into the Minecraft jar. If there's anything you need to replace, just click apply to all, replace all of them. Just like so. Okay, get rid of that so it's not on my desktop. And Minecraft Forge, you do the same thing. Grab all the contents of the download. You don't have to grab the readme's, but I'm just grabbing everything and drag and drop it into Minecraft jar. Apply to all, replace. It's pretty uh, simple once you get it going, once you get all the downloads and everything ready. Now GUI API, you're going to do the same thing. And don't skip ahead because you, you're going to do something different for Mo Creatures and the custom mob spawner. Alright, here we go. Now I'm going to want to go back and right now I'm just going to open Minecraft again to run those mods to make sure they're working. Okay, it appears, look, um, we've got our mods loaded. It says only one mod loaded, but that will change. I don't think it recognizes the other two because it's got Forge and it's got Mod Loader there. Alright. What? Okay, here we go. 
I was a little bit confused there. Okay, so all our uh, those mods are installed. It is successful. We got to the Minecraft screen. Now these are smoke creatures and custom mob spawner. You want to copy those or just drag and drop them in. And that is the tutorial complete for these arc smoke creatures. It will be fully installed now. I'll just show you that it's working. So you believe me. And in the second part of the video, I'll show you how to reduce your frame rate lag and increase the frames per second so you won't get any lag from Minecraft. And that's uh, something that a lot of people have trouble with, especially when they're trying to record. And it also has a cool uh, zoom feature. And there's a bunch of different types of Optifine, which is what the mod is called. But I'll just be showing you the standard one, because that's the basic. It's going to give you probably everything you need. So I'm just going to quickly look for... Oh yeah, already we see a bear. So a bear is from uh, the Mo Creatures. So we know that it's working. Come on, I need to find you, bear. Okay, there's the bear. He's Mo Creatures. And also, Mo Creatures gives you global mod settings. Mo Creatures, you can instant spawn. Three more bears. Alright, yeah, that's working. Okay, and you noticed uh, back there it was lagging a little bit, but now I'll get the Optifine going and it will not lag. Okay, so here's Optifine standard. Okay, <laughs> don't open that, that'll just confuse you. Don't open the older versions, you're going to want the newest version of standard. There's a bunch of different features for what Optifine gives you. FPS boost, uh, support for HD, texture packs, all these different things. You can check out the website, it'll also be in the link below. Alright, so we've got Optifine now, and again, I'm going to open the users. This is how I get to my Minecraft jar my user, library, application support, and Minecraft. If you're on Windows, you're going to want to press the Windows key with the letter R and type in percentile, app data, percentile, and it'll give, get you to the same page, or maybe one back, but you're going to want to go into Minecraft. Okay, so we've got Optifine now. I'm going to open it with Archive Utility for Mac. Use uh, Windows, you're going to want to open it with WinZip and go into the Minecraft bin, your Minecraft jar, and you're gonna drag all of these contents into the Minecraft jar. Replace all, and that will be it. I'll just show you that it's working again. There, we got Optifine loaded. I'll just show you a quick little feature of it. So the world loads a lot faster. I know the first time was the first load, but I promise you it will load faster. So you can zoom in, and that's with the control key. And also you have way more settings in the video settings. So you can go to extreme render distance. You can change all of these different things. So that's really cool. You can change text packs in game, which is also a great feature for some people. And that'll be it. If you want to check out any more of my videos, you can just go to my channel. If you liked it, like it. And if you like my other videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.